So, how do you build a relationship with a small business as a small business without necessarily spending money with the small business until you're ready to spill ball? Until you're ready to spend money with them, you can still build a relationship. And you might say, well, how do you do that? You know, we're independent, so, you know, as small businesses, we like referrals. We like knowing that, you know, if they got a service that you like, you send people there. So this is what I do as an independent owner um, when I'm building up my team or things that I know or people that I need to have surrounded in me. Like, for instance, I think that we deal with mechanics and tools. So it'll be um, valuable for us as independent welders, uh, small businesses to know some mechanics or a mechanic shop and to someone that would be able to take care of you when you need to be taken care of and you can build a relationship with them without necessarily spending your money. You can go check them out. You see, man, they're affordable. You don't, you know, uh, at that time, there's nothing wrong with your vehicles. You see what I'm saying? But you're like, hey, I like them. You talk to the owners. You you know, you go through there sometimes. Stop through there. Hey, how y'all doing? You know, just building a relationship. And then you start sending get some cards, and you send a couple people up there. Now you can send enough people up there that have made a few thousand dollars off of just your referrals. It's like, man, Joe, man, appreciate that. So-and-so said that you sent them up here. So-and-so said that you sent them up here. Let us know when you need something. You need something. You know, we got you, man. Don't worry about it. Just, uh, just pay us for the parts. I'm just saying, man, you can build relationships by networking with those that you know you want in your, in, in your circle. Like, I network with certain banks. I network with uh, mechanics. I network with paint shops. I network with uh, engineers that design because I need stuff designed. So I got a designer uh, that's from India who do blueprints. And me and him to develop a relationship. You see what I'm saying? I pay for his services, but before I did, I sent him services. You see what I'm saying? He made money just from my referrals and we built a relationship. So when I was ready, I jumped. My insurance owner that I got, I sent someone to him first. A few people got them established. And then once I was ready, once I figured out <clears throat> exactly what I needed because I had to tailor what I was doing. You know what I mean? So I had to regroup and come at come at the um, my independent business at a different approach. So I had to change up some things. So before I did, I still made him money. You see what I'm saying? So when it was time, he came through with a five deal for me. You see what I'm saying? So we have to help our small businesses make money because our small businesses will help us make money. And if we feed one another, we can feed the community. You see what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> Us coming together as small businesses, as welders, as uh, fabrication shops, we can help one another. And it's enough money in the pool to feed everybody. I mean, you literally don't have to be greedy. I mean, you know, you, when you think about money, it's just we use money to get the things we need to enjoy life. But it's not the money that you really want. It's the lifestyle. It's to go to the lake, be in the boat. Take the trips, eat the food, wear the clothes, drive the cars. And it's the money. It's what money can get for you. You see what I'm saying? So if we network with our small businesses, I believe we can get over that hump and we can be able to do great things. But you have to spend money. It takes money. Like I spend my money. Like I spend thousands with small businesses. I spend hundreds with people like I network. And that's how I get ahead so fast because I don't mind spending money. You got to spend that shit. You got to let it go. You know, you got to let it burn, but you have to do it in the right way. You see what I'm saying? Because money grows. You know what I mean? Um, it grows by networking and, and um, helping someone else. So if I would give anybody some advice that has a small business that's struggling right now or trying to figure out, you know, man, every time when they get ready to need something, it's always expensive. Well, start networking with those people beforehand. Pick the people that you okay. I need a mechanic. I need this. I need that. I need. I need a. Um, I need a plumber. I need an electrician. Uh, I need someone to do this. Get your team together. Start networking with them. So when you're ready, they're gonna most definitely be ready to network with you.